and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with Settling into our prayer today, we recognize again the red vestments and other uh, set of martyrs, the first martyrs of Rome. These were those who, uh, after the, um, uh, the, the their, their leaders, right, Peter and Paul went ahead of them. These, these were persecuted by, by Nero, burned, crucified, all sorts of uh, violent deaths uh, to the early Christians. So grateful for the blood of martyrs, which helped our early church grow and recognizing uh, uh, the, the graces that are there for us in God's mercy. We call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my thought, through my thought, through my most grievous heart. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who consecrated the abundant first fruits of the Roman Church by the blood of the martyrs, grant, we pray, that with firm courage we may draw, we may together draw strength from so great a struggle, and ever rejoice at the triumph of the faithful, of faithful love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this word, O children of Israel, that the Lord pronounces over you, over the whole family that have brought you up from the land of Egypt. You alone have I favored more than all families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your crimes. Do two walk together unless they have agreed as a lion roar in the forest? When it has no prey, does a young lion cry out from its den unless it has seen something? Is a bird brought to earth by a snare when there is no lure for it? Does a snare spring up from the ground without catching anything? If the trumpet sounds in the city, will the people not be frightened? If evil befalls the city, has not the Lord caused it? Indeed. The Lord God does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, servants, the prophets. The lion roars, who will not be afraid? The Lord God speaks, who will not prophesy? I brought you, I brought upon you such appeal as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You were like a brand plucked from the fire, yet you returned not to me says the Lord. So now I will deal with you in my own way, O Israel. And since I will deal thus with you, be prepared to meet your God, O Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Lead, Lead me, me in your justice, justice, O Lord. At dawn I bring my plea expect, expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lead, Lead me in your justice, Lord. Lord. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lead, Lead me in your justice, justice, Lord. But I, because of your abundant mercy, will enter your house. I will worship at your holy temple in fear of you, O Lord. Lead, lead, lead me in justice, justice, Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly a violent storm came upon the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves. But he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us. We are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. orientation is with, with directions right now, but where does the weather usually come from? From the west, right? Because you can kind of feel that, you see the dark sky, you know, you know what's coming. And a, you know, warm, maybe humid summer's day, there's suddenly that, like, cool, almost cold that hits you, you're like, uh-oh, something's coming, right? I mean, we're not even farmers, and we kind of have those basic instincts of a storm is coming, and, it, and it's coming quickly. Now, I wonder what fishermen um, would have had, you know, the same, if not better, skills honed in. You know, they're, they're going to be out on a boat in the water. They would have watched those clouds, would have felt that. So to be in a situation where, where it says suddenly a violent storm came up on the sea, I suppose, I suppose there are still some rare moments where it's sudden, but a lot of times you saw it coming. You had a hunch, and you, you kind of went out anyways. Given those situations, when you find yourself in a, in a situation where you're like, man, I should have seen this coming. What's more violent than the weather is the internal voice kicking yourself, right? Like, God, I can't believe I put myself in this situation. And then you look and there's the one who maybe could do something about it sleeping. So, of course, let's be really angry and blame this guy, right? You know, so just a direction of misdirection, redirection of our frustration or disappointment or anger or fear. I'm vulnerable right now. Wake up. Do something about this. So just try to let yourself try to touch some of those those emotions, those fears, and let them be more real for you. You know, there's a, a situation maybe, you know, family-related. I knew it. I, I knew if I said it this way, they were going to react that way. You've seen those dark clouds coming before, and, you know, for whatever reason, you found yourself tangled again with that person in the family or at work. You know, if I don't get up and pray, my, my, my day usually gets off the tracks more quickly. Well, you snoozed anyways, because you read too late last night, and now you're, you're, you're off the rails by 7.30 in the morning, right? You, you, I know it. I know these things, and still, I'm, it's a mess. It's a storm. And Jesus, where are you right now? You know, I think there's a way in which um, we are like the fishermen. We know better. Occasionally, something does sneak up on us. For the most part, we can see it coming. Well, for whatever reason, Jesus has no problem waiting for us to call on him, whether it's in fear or frustration or anger or true love. Like, Jesus, I need you now. I'm sorry I didn't get up and pray as I promised this morning. I'm sorry I, I poked that bear and, and now that, that that's too much right now. Can you bring peace to my family again? He gets up. He rebukes winds. He rebukes storms. He can bring peace back to your life. Let us enjoy the last part of the story, too, and be amazed. Be amazed. What a great posture to have before God. If we can humbly admit that there's times we're frustrated or angry or wonder why he's not acting, let's also be aware that we can be amazed with God, too. too. <laughs> he did it again. He does it. He enjoys to me. He's with me on this boat.
spend a moment of, of humility, asking God again for the times we need his help. Let's continue to pray for our church leaders that they might have the courage of the first martyrs of our Holy Roman Church. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let's pray for uh, world leaders, business leaders, they would make decisions aware of those who are, are most vulnerable and in need around them. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray in our, for the moments in our own lives, uh, the storms uh, that we maybe saw or didn't see coming, but for whatever reason, we just need the Lord to bring his peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Let's pray for those around us whom we love and are facing great storms, that they would have the courage to cry out to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Let's pray for an increase in that gift of amazement, that God's love for us and his closeness to us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. We pray for our beloved deceased in a special way as requested today for Joseph Oskowski. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. And let's take a moment in silence and bring out the other prayers, petitions, which are important to us today. For one of those needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, you are ever near to us, ever close to us. Give us confidence and courage that you will answer all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name. For our good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle... The victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and, to, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have come to my room, but only to say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
share with our friends at home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's continue our prayer for an end to the pandemic. O oh Mary, full of grace, patroness of this nation and mother of the church, in this time of illness and worldwide need, we seek your intercession for the human family. Before your son's throne of grace and mercy, we ask for strength in adversity, health in weakness, and comfort in sorrow. Help us, O blessed Mother, to be filled with confidence and trust in the tender compassion of our God. Let us not be afraid, like our own Saint Mary of Cora, who entrusted her life and ministry among the outcasts of society, into the care of our divine physician, continue to watch over all who are sick, as well as those who care for them, and give wisdom to all who are seeking a cure. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Enjoy your day.